Peace family, welcome to BatterOnline.com, your one-stop shop for the highest hip-hop entertainment. Bringing you the dopest, no-limit interviews, hip-hop legends, reviews, views, news, and more. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be updated on new drops and content. It definitely is, man. And um, the message that they had, my uncle always taught me uh, when I was young, he's like, be a leader not a follower, you know what I'm saying? And so, you know, I took I took heed from my uncle, but um, for those who really don't know about the Watch Prophets because of before their time, it was before my time, but um, my uncle, Father on D, uh, actually, I have a picture. Uh, I'm gonna put it up. I, I posted it on Instagram. Um, basically, my uncle, you know, he was a thug, and then he, he performed and turned his life around. And then um, him and Bob Marley were, uh, were close friends. And so, uh, towards the end, when Bob Marley had died, um, you can look this up uh, on YouTube, um, Bob Marley's funeral. My uncle did the eulogy at uh, Bob Marley's funeral. And um, so, you know, my uncle would work with, they was working with, uh, uh, actually DJ Quick is the, the one who really sampled my uncle and put him on the map. Uh, my uncle's on Black Pussy. If you go back to DJ Quick's first album, you know, when I, when I used to be around Quick and Greedy Greg and all of them, you know, I told him who my uncle was and nigga grabbed me off my feet. Like, do you know who your uncle is? So they were like one of the first rappers in Watts, you know what I mean? To uh, to actually have spoken word and talk about what was going on in the hood. They were the first rappers. It was the last poets and the Watts prophets and Gil Scott Heron and a bunch of uh, uh, dope poets. You know what I mean? Uh, on the song, when you just played on the intro, I, I said on, I said, they took religion out to school. No more praying. Now they shooting the school. See what I'm saying? And the devil's getting younger and younger. Blood sacrifice. Feed the devil's hunger. Take a look in the mirror. You better open your eyes. The revolution has now been televised. Niggas is institutionalized. So I, I went hard on it because I feel like, you know, this is my uncle. They're older. You know, it's hard to catch up with them. You know, this nigga superstar. Too short sample them too, man. Um, a bunch of rappers. Uh, I seen Africa Bambada speak about my uncle, and, and one time I seen him perform in Santa Monica, and who was in the fucking crowd, in in the crowd in the front row, listening to every word, loving every word. Rest in peace was the homeboy Easy E. Oh wow, that's dope. That's definitely legendary right there. Rest in peace yeah. to Easy. You know, definitely. Uh, and your uncle and stuff. I mean, what's he? What's he do now? Is he? Is he what's he do that middle? What, he, what he's doing right now, man, my uncle's like a, a, a this figure, like he, right now he's in Humboldt County, that's where they stay at. And so when you go into Humboldt County, they have a sign that says uh, uh, the things that you need to see before you before you leave uh, Humboldt County. And his name is up under one of them. Um, uh, he's actually a, a remarkable person to sit up and talk with. You know, um, uh, he always gave it to me cut and dry. So, you know what I'm saying? I want to say big up to my uncle, Father Amdi of the Watts Prophets, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think one of them, uh, one of the Watts Prophets that died, I, I don't forget Otis or Richard or which one of them, but um, rest in peace to him. And um, uh, I, I, look, I just look forward, man. I look, I look at I look at uh, this game. I look at this industry right now and what motherfuckers is talking about. And it seemed like they talking about the same shit. You know what I mean? Out of all the things that's going on in this world, this is what y'all picked to talk about. Like, look at the public enemies and look at the ice cubes. America's most wanted ice cube, you know what I'm saying? And, and these niggas who, they, they were speaking the gangster shit. They were speaking the street shit. But at the same time, we have messages in our music. And that's what uh, a lot of these rappers is missing. Um, but I'm not downing a lot of them because a lot of them is dope. Like, I really have to sit down and, 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 and check myself sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And, and say, who am I not to listen to? Uh, these young niggas and hear what they talking about. You know what I mean? So like, like a young, uh, rest in peace to young Dolph and what's my, a money bag, yo. You know, I like them. You know, uh, uh, Kevin Gates, I like them. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't nobody hating them, nothing like that. I big up the new rappers and shit like that. For real. Peace family. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and check us out on bout.online.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.